Today, you'll meet some of the best high school athletes in America, and we'll get started with a five-star talent on the basketball court. That's this week's five-star feature. Jabari Smith Jr. has basketball in his DNA. I took an interest right when I could say basketball or younger than that. So um, I just always was around basketball. My dad always had me in the gym with him since I was a baby. So I just fell in love with it, just naturally seeing him play it, seeing my brother play it, fell in love naturally with me. His father, Jabari Smith Sr., played at LSU and went on to play professionally for 10 years, about half of that in the NBA. While his two boys were a little too young to remember much from his playing days, the elder Smith is proud to see his love for the game passed on. We introduce our love for whatever we love to our kids. Whether they decide to follow suit or not, it's totally up to them. But, you know, I gave him everything I had for his basketball. He immediately fell in love with it because when they was young, when both of them was young, I was still playing. So they automatically gravitated to it and ultimately, you know, fell in love with basketball. The younger Smith not only loves the game, but he's been able to channel that love into a relentless work ethic that has helped him become one of the best players in the 2021 class. Jabari is a six foot 10 inch forward who can play the game like a guard. He's totally different from me. You know, his, his ears, he listens. I wouldn't say I was a knucklehead, but I definitely had a chip on my shoulder where I could have been a little more mature, a lot more mature. And he's definitely that, you know, he's, he's not a disrespectful kid. He's a great kid. He likes to learn and he loves to work hard. I say I'm uh, very versatile. I think I can guard every position on the floor. I feel like I don't like to say I'm a scorer because that kind of like, you know, limits myself. But um, I say I can just, uh, I'm a good scorer. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm very unselfish. I think I can defend really well. I think that's my underrated, underrated part of my game. Um, I can rebound. I just think I'm very versatile and I can do a lot of things on the floor. Everybody like to say I was before my time as far as being big, being able to handle the basketball, being able to shoot the basketball, being able to pass it. So in my era, they really didn't let guys do that. It was more of a back to the basket, post up type of era. So it was easy for me to teach him everything I knew from being a, a big guy, being able to handle the ball on the perimeter, being able to shoot the ball. So here we are today where you got seven foot guys running point guard and doing all that. So. I mean, perfect timing. Actually, I've been working on this since I was since I was young. When I was young, my dad saw how like the game was evolving and stuff like that. So he just he just taught me early that don't limit yourself and stuff like that. It's just natural. I still work on it now, and you know, bumping it up another level now, and um, taking going more in depth into it, and being able to play higher positions on the floor and just keep expanding my game. While there are many great basketball states across the country, Jabari loves being from Georgia. Whether he's playing for the Atlanta Celtics AAU team or at Sandy Creek High School, Jabari knows he always has top competition nearby to challenge him. Playing basketball in Georgia, you know, I think I think this is the best basketball state in my opinion. And um, just, just, just us being able to compete with teams here and not having to travel all over the country and stuff like that, and staying here and really getting good competition consistently, I think that's just what separates us. Um, you know the Atlanta Celtics program is very, very highly known. Um, a, a lot of big names coming from there. And I just like how they really care about the kids and they, they don't care about, you know, using your name or anything like that. They really want to get you better and, and get you to that next level and, ma and make sure you're ready when you get there. Jabari tends to spend a lot of time with his father in the summer and he lives with his mother during the school year when he attends Sandy Creek in Tyrone, Georgia. He says having two supportive parents has made his journey as a student athlete a lot easier. I think it's very important to have uh, support from both parents. Just having both of them in my life, they've taught me so much. Uh, me being able to talk to them about anything has just like really helped me to get where I am today and I feel like it'll help me in the long run. As he's considered his options for the next stage in his career, Jabari and his father agreed that finding the right coach was going to be important. All of them are wonderful schools, wonderful um, institutions. But I think what makes these young men who they are is who coaches them, what kind of direction that the coach gives them. Like the institution can be great as it want to be, but if you don't have a great leader of young men who holds them accountable in the classroom, off the court, I think kids have a tendency to stray. Just making a decision, making sure the school that I go to, making sure that, that the coach that I choose to play for is always going to be on me, always going to get the best out of me. The coach Jabari chose ended up being Bruce Pearl of the Auburn Tigers. The Auburn campus is only about an hour and a half from his high school, so he's going to be staying close to home as he works to reach his ultimate dream of playing at the highest level. 
dream is to definitely play in the NBA, maximize my potential, be the best player I can be, and just just always have fun with the game and one day play in the NBA and make an impact in the NBA. Very cool kid, not in love with money at all, not in love with the glitz and glam, feet on the ground. You know, and that's my dream. He's a straight, I ain't gonna say square, he's a straight, cool kid. That's all you can ask for as a dad, to be better than you were. That's how we train our kids, that's what we want. We want them to exceed anything that we did in life. And he's on the right path. Grade point average higher than mine, accolades in basketball higher than mine, the whole nine, so it's just beautiful. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.